my name's Kurt here DJ, and today I'm back in Xenonaut. Uh, in our last episode, we took a loss. Uh, Eevee died somewhere around here, but he may not actually be dead. He may just be downed, so we might be able to get him back. Um, we were in the process of um, working our way towards this UFO, so we can capture it and hopefully capture a officer. Um, I'm, right, I'm now going to move up these guys here because I want to make sure we get enough firepower ready to open up the uh, the UFO. As you can see, this UFO is a lot bigger than what we've had to deal with in the past. So I'm assuming there may be more enemies within it, which uh, we would uh, not like to be killed by them all. Um, right, I'm not going to move our rifle at the moment. Um, okay, that's going to end our turn. Now hopefully we should be able to get all of our guys set up in the right position so we can get the maximum firepower into the UFO without risking our troops. Um, I made a fatal error with VV just placing him right next to the enemy thinking that the enemy would move. It's completely my fault. We may have lost him, we may not have. The only way we're going to find out is after this battle. Uh, let's move it there. There, there we go. Okay. And let's move up our shield as well. Uh, I'm going to move him up here just in case. Same as our heavy weapons. Uh, Tasku is going to go here. Uh, followed up by the sniper and our rifleman, which is going the wrong way. Let's put him behind the vehicle there. Okay, going to end our turn. I don't think we're going to be able to get the the hunter into the right position to get the maximum. Oh dear God! <laughs> we missed one. All right, um, we're going to have to try and flank him. I knew this would happen. I knew there'd be one hiding around somewhere. I should have been more careful. I don't think the hunter can actually hit him from this position. No. Okay, so uh, let's see what have we got here. Um, let's try this one here. Uh, Seventy-seven percent chance. Let's do that. So he should be stunned now. I'm going to move... Um, I don't really want to move him. Oh, I'm going to move Tasco. Tasku, sorry. Here. Yeah, he's suppressed. Perfect. And... We're going to take an aimed shot with our laser carbine. For a fair amount of damage. Uh, we're then going to move Tasku back into cover. Because we don't want another loss. And then I'm going to move our shield here. Um, uh, I'm going to move him away. Let's try moving him here. Let's see if we can get our. It's a flare. They just, she doesn't have a grenade. Uh, they don't have a grenade either. I really should sort out their loadouts because they don't seem to all have grenades. It's only Tasku that has a grenade. That's okay then. Um, Make sure we face this way, so we're not caught out. And with them all having very high amount of time units left, it may also mean if he decides to pop his head out, it will get blown off. Hopefully. I'm going to move Tasku out of the way, just in case there's any firing that comes around his way. Take him down as well. Now hopefully, this alien will walk out and get killed, but can't always guarantee that. He may just hide there. The wait and see. Should be able to catch him off guard. Oh, little door sound there. Someone's opened the door. Okay. Um. Don't want to worst Tasku, so we're going to 
going to use our rifleman here to have a little peek out. Oop, he's still there. Um, can we take a little pot shot? Uh, 15 time units, yeah. Okay, we suppressed him, that's good. Let's move him back. Select Tasker again. Sneak him around the wall. Take another aim shot. And we've got a kill. Nice. Okay, so that, that threat's been deal dealt with. Uh, let's move our heavy weapons up behind Tasku for now. And our hunter car over. Can I move over here? Yeah, should be able to move over here. Right. Oh, that's perfect. That should give us a lot of firepower inside there now. Let's move all of our guys behind this wall. SWAT style, ready to breach. Okay. Now we want to be able to throw in a frag grenade. Or at least a stun grenade. A flashbang. To um, suppress them. And then unleash hell with the hunter car and our heavy machine gunner. Um, so I'm going to move Tasku uh, as far as you can go. Facing towards the door. And our heavy gunner as well. The rifleman we're going to have over here. Uh, this is very awkward position it's in at the moment. Um, our shield over here and our sniper probably won't be able to hit anything really from the way this is set up but if we get her or him, oh it's our rifleman sorry, get him behind there our sniper's here. Sophie Barnes. Okay, um, they all seem to be in relatively good positions. I'm going to end this turn so that next turn they all have full time units so we can take some aimed shots with it. Hopefully this will work. But, no promises. Um, now we should be able to get some good technology from this UFO. Allowing us to unlock more research. Okay, right. Our heavy gunner here is going to open the doors. Open the doors. Is she too far away? Yeah, she's too far away. We're staying closer. Oh dear god. Um, that's a lot of guys. Uh, let's move you back. Probably shouldn't have done that. They're all going to take shot shots. Wow. Oh, that's lucky. That not so much. That was a lot of firepower being shot there and quite a lot of it missed. But uh, thankfully she does have a medical kit. So we'll equip that. And hopefully she can use it on herself. She can uh, if you have as much as possible. 24. Perfect. Right. Uh, Hunter car here is going to take a shot at the furthest one away. Um, because of its low accuracy it should give us a nice spread. Allowing us to suppress the room. Or not. But we did hit him, which was good. We want the hunter to take the damage, that's fine. Um, let's go for. Let's go for that one. Okay, so we could press two, killed one. Uh, we did. I think we did injure this one. Um, okay, right, I'm gonna move our little. There, do we? Do we? Do we? <laughs> hmm. What equipment does he have? He does have a shotgun. But equipping the shotgun de equips his uh, shield, which is not ideal. Um, he does have another grenade, which is helpful. It's a smoke grenade. Hmm. I'm actually going to see if we can lob a smoke grenade in here. It's got a 35% chance to get in there. Um, yeah, why not? Didn't work out how I wanted it to, but... Eh. 
Beggars can't be choosers. Um, we might actually decrease our effectiveness. Yes, it will. Right. We take a shot. 24% chance hit. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's go for the 35% uh, chance. Ah, good. We hit him and suppressed him. Yeah, we're going to take that again. Good. He's dead. Our sniper has very reduced visibility, which reduces the accuracy. So, 13% chance to hit. And we hit. Okay, it's not bad. Um, what else have we got? Okay, um... 4% chance to hit. Go ahead. He just shot Tasco in the back. I'm gonna move Tasco back out of the way because he needs to reload our shield guy because he was a twat and actually shot his own teammate. He's gonna stay there. Plus the fact that he's run out of time units. Um, our rifleman does have some time units left. Um, I'm gonna move him. I'm gonna leave him there actually, just in case. Can we move? Can we move the sniper or can we take another shot? Can't take another shot, so we're going to have to move. Can we move her out of harm's way? Okay. End our turn for that move. Um, so we've definitely done some damage. Um, oh, our rifleman can fire from there. Right. That's good to know. Um, okay, this alien is trying to come out. Thankfully the smoke does reduce um, their visibility, which is nice. And them running out this close is going to be perfect for our hunter to actually do some damage. Okay. Now the smoke, from what I know, lasts a couple of turns. Yeah, but it dissipates. Okay. Um, we have a low chance to hit him. Higher chance to hit him. Um, let's aim for him. Okay, we suppressed him. And the other one here. Uh, we're going to take another shot at him. And we've got a kill. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, give her back her machine gun. Nope, I'm not clicking it right. There we go. Perfect. She can't take a shot from here. She's blocked completely. But it does cost her 59 time units to fire, and she has 58, so if she moves, she's not going to be able to fire at all. Um, our sniper is going to move over here, and we'll take an aimed shot at, uh, I'm going to say him. Yeah, go on. Yeah, probably be a bad choice, but okay, that's fine, I'm going to move her back. Our rifleman can have shot. He can, but he might hit the hunter. Um, I'll take the risk. It's not bad. Uh, twelve percent. Go for it. Okay, we didn't hit him. It's fine. And our shield here. We're going to knock him down. He's going to take a nice aimed shot at this bloke here. He's going to miss, of course. He is. Take like another shot. Okay, we definitely hit him. Let's move Tasku up, and he's going to take a shot. No, he's not. He needs to reload. Okay, where's the reload? Oh, that's not it. Uh, reload. Reload. Where's reload? Oh, I don't remember where the reload is. Ah, no, it's there. Quick reload. Okay. He can take a shot for 50%, and he's going to get a kill for it. Okay, our heavy weapons can't do anything. We might have to think about lightening her load. So she has more time units to do things. Um, can we move Tasku back? No, we can't. She has to stay there. That's fine. It should be okay. Let's end our turn. Alright, the hunter is taking some damage here. But, we should be okay. They seem to be more than happy to just run out at us. I want to try and see if we can capture them, but at the same time I don't want to risk Tasku because he is the only one with a stun. 
stun weapon. So hmm. we're going to fire at this one. Okay, that suppressed him. We're also going to fire at. Nope, we're not because he had to turn. Okay. Um. Gonna move him here. Uh, Sixty percent chance. Oh no, 60 time units. Oh, that's a lot of time units. Uh, let's do it. Wow. Okay, so that's one kill down. Let's move her back. Um, okay, so we suppressed, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to knock him out properly. Um, let me take a pot shot in with the rifleman, nice and aimed. Of course, you're going to miss. Another shot. Okay. Missed both of them. That's fine. We don't think our sniper's going to get into position to fire properly, so we're going to use our shield. Uh, no, we're not. So we're just going to shoot Tasker again. Um, let's swap to the shock baton. It takes 36 units to attack. Okay, let's, uh, let's risk it. Oh, nice. Perfect. Ah, oh, Evie, I'm sorry, you are dead. Um, you were killed in action. It says so right here. But, um, Tasku, you were promoted and you earned two medals. So, you've got one for bravery. Uh, order, oh, oh, what's that saying, sorry? Order of the Gallantry. Awarded for elimination of five extraterrestrial units in combat. Plus one bravery. And your other is the Military Cross, awarded for eliminating five alien combatants in a single operation. So well done, Tasku. Sorry, Evie. Um, you're dead. Okay. Um, so we, un we received an alien power source that's been sent to research, a scout data core also sent to research, and a civilian guard. Which is the one we captured. I don't think that's an officer, but that's fine. Uh, we're getting some al alienium, alienium, uh, alien alloys, and a couple of corpses, some plasma batteries, uh, plasma pistol and rifle. Okay. It's not too bad. I mean, we lost the soldier, um, but that's okay. Okay, research completed. New projects available for research. Okay. Uh, should we research this? An analysis of the captive or prisoner in order to identify witnesses. Our troops will gain damage bonus against the creatures. Uh, that would help. Okay, so we're going to work on both of these. Um, I don't think we can work on this. No, we can't. That's weird. Okay. Um going to have 15 of them working on that one and the other five working on this one. Okay. Let's see how our North American base is coming along. Another day. That's fine. Um, I think we need... Um, let's see here. Vehicle weaponry. We don't have any aircraft weaponry, which is quite annoying. Um... The pulse laser. I'm assuming that's for the hunter. So I'm going to commission one of them. Um, the jackal armor, three out of four has been done. That's for Charlie Squad 2. Uh, let's take some of them off and get more on the plasma, plasma laser. Okay, so let's look at our troops here. Uh, Tasku has taken some damage, but he's okay. He should be recovered in a few days. Um, now captain. Well done. Um, a heavy gunner. She's too heavy. Um, so she's going to lose time units. That's where we're in difficulty with. So I'm going to take this medical kit away from her. Um, let's see here. Lasers. Now we want to start manufacturing some of these if we do have enough. Um, let's see here. Soldier weapons. Uh, laser rifle or scatter laser? Um, hmm. She is heavy weapons. Uh, if we look over here, we should hover over them and it should give us some information about the gun. Is it? You're going to give me some information?
of information. No. Okay. But we do have a laser carbine. Oh, that's probably why, because we don't have any of these. But we do have a laser carbine left over, uh, which was Eevee's, which I'm actually going to give to... Uh, this is the wrong squad. It's Charlie 2. Come on, Charlie 1. What's going on? Oh, it's because Charlie 1 is uh, over here. Right, let's uh, speed that up and get them back. Oh, and a UFO detected. Escort none, size small. Uh, send out... They'll be fueling for a bit. That's fine. Speed up a little bit. Okay. Can we look at Charlie 1 now? Yes, we can. Right, let's... Yeah, we're down to 5 out of 6. Let's, um... Let's change her into the, let's see which one it is, it's the Assault class. Perfect, and we'll give her the laser carbine that Evie had. But because now he's dead, he doesn't need it. So that's fine. Right, so I'm going to give her two of these. Okay. Right, so we're going to need to replace Evie. Do we have... Any leftovers? No, we do not. Okay, so let's hire another soldier. We're going to want someone with some good, fairly good stats. Um, let's see here. We've got one here with 61. Uh, let's see, I want to go with... I want to go with the 61. We're going to have to wait for them to turn up, but that's fine. Charlie 1 is a little bit weakened, but they'll live. Um, our shield guy, I'm going to take away a shotgun. A shotgun ammo, we don't need them. I'm going to give him a grenade instead. A frag grenade, and what grenade is this? It's a stun grenade. A flashbang. I'm going to give him another flashbang. Because we'll use him to disable the enemies. Uh, basic armor. Okay. So our rifleman and a shield can heal. Uh, sniper is, can also heal, but I'm actually going to take that away from her. Because I want her to be nice and light and allow her to have more time units. So she's got 64. Um, 76, it's quite a lot actually. And with the heavy gun removed, she should actually be able to uh, move around a bit better and get more shots in. Right, so can we inset this now? No, they're still rearming. It's okay, Scout UFO. The alien scout is a small craft with a larger crew than the light scout. Though still a scout craft, it is larger, better armed and more dangerous than its predecessor. Predecessor, sorry. Okay, so watch out. Okay, UFO number 12. Can we intercept you now? No, we can't. They're still grounded. Okay, I'm going to have to wait. Our US our North American base is now completed. Perfectly done. Okay, so we're going to have to do some construction in here. I'm going to do two hangars. And a living quarters there. We're also going to have a laboratory. And a workshop. I'm going to rotate that. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some missile batteries or laser batteries. Which ones? Right, the laser because they provide more. And we can't build them yet because these need to be built first. So we'll speed up some time. And once the hangars have completed, we can also transfer Charlie to. Hello. The Sibylan. Analysis. I'm impressed, Commander. Quite how your men managed to subdue such a creature is beyond me. Thank you, Tasku, for taking this down. Uh, now it has been safely confined in a containment tank, we have been able to perform a, deal excuse me, a detailed analysis on it. The test confirm our initial suspicions. Sibylans possess only rudimentary intelligence, have bad eyesight, and struggle to operate firearms. However, they are remarkably agile, and such hawking creatures can cover ground surprisingly quickly. Okay, so they're basically stupid, but bloody quick. Surprisingly so for their size. 
not very friendly, does he? Well, I suppose he's not too happy after being captured. Okay, so that means we can use all of our scientists now to research Helenium. Helenium? Helenium? I don't know what it says. Um, okay, so it's going to take another two days for the pulse lasers to be completed. Um, we've got two jackal armors ready to use. We've got two of Elenium. Elenium. I think that's what you say. Uh, alien alloys, we have six left. Our aircraft, we have two condors and a foxtrot. Can't change anything on there. Uh, we have two squads. Uh, we're missing a member thanks to Evie dying. Uh, Charlie 2 has more men, but doesn't have any vehicle support. Whereas Charlie 1 has the Hunter. Which hopefully may have a pulse laser installed. Okay. Let's speed up the time. Item received. Ah, sweet. That should be our our new soldier. And there it, there it is. Okay, we're going to assign them to Charlie 1 and sort out their role. Let's see, she's a rifleman at the moment. She's from East Germany. Oh, hello, what's this? An advanced minipack. Hmm. Okay. Weapon, grenade, dot advanced medipack. Okay, that may be a bug. Not sure what that is. Uh, let's pick a role. Uh, change role. Um, let's see, her reflexes are okay, but she does have a lot of time units. So I'm going to think about making her a scout. So she's going to be fairly light. She's carrying a handgun and grenade. Uh, she does have a sniper rifle. Um, yeah, we use her to scout out. Although, actually, no, in this squad, we don't need a scout. Because we have the hunter car. So we don't need one of them. Uh, let's actually make her... I think we should keep her a bog-standard rifleman. And we'll give her some armour. That should do it. She doesn't have many time units anyway. She did until I put this armor on her, but that's fine. Um, speed up time. Okay, the production of them has been done, which means we can concentrate all of our engineers now to work on this. It's going to take another day. Let's speed that up, see if we can get it done. Pulse laser is finished. Right, let's see if we can install this. Or oh, I'm, I'm being. I, I think I don't think it's actually for the hunter. Now, is it for aircraft? Uh, is it? No. No, it's definitely not for aircraft. So it must be for something we don't actually have at the moment. Or is it just a... Can soldiers use it, I wonder? No. Okay, so we'll hang on to this. We'll see what it actually is for. Has no value at the moment. It's fine. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it for the moment. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you liked, please um, like the video uh, and subscribe. I'll be back for more in the next episode. Thank you for watching.